Alrighty, for this activity I'll be showing you how to implement picture-in-picture -picture mode into an Android Studio project. Uh, so first off, we're going to create a new project. And I'll just name it something simple. Picture-in-picture-in-PIP. Picture in PIP. So next, and for the API, I'm going to choose API 26. This isn't necessary, but it's just going to make it a little bit easier throughout the program because if you don't choose API 26, you're going to have to later on uh, bump up your minimum SDK in your uh, app Gradle. So I'll just choose API 26, click next. I'll just choose an empty activity. Doesn't really matter what one you choose. Click next and we'll finish and let the Gradle build the project. So like I said, uh, if you don't choose the API 26, you can change your minimum SDK right here later on in your project. It'll tell you if it doesn't like it. So first off, we are going to have to go to our manifest file. And we're going to have to add in a few things right here. So. What we're going to add in is that it supports picture-in-picture -picture mode. Then we're going to add in our configuration changes right here. This basically, if the program changes the layout throughout the program, it won't crash the application and make it restart. This will just prevent that from happening. So after that's done, we're going to go to our layout file, which is just in here. And for this activity, I'm going to change it to a relative layout. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of this. You don't need it. And we're going to add in a button. And basically this button is going to be used to, whenever it's clicked, it'll enter into picture-in-picture -picture mode. So just something somewhat simple. Okay, and we're going to change the background color, give it a little bit more life, uh, just like that, see it looks a little bit nicer now. Okay, so as you can see in our layout, whenever this is clicked, it will enter into picture in picture mode. So first off, we're going to have to create our on, on click for our button. So you probably have to import your button right away since it's a new application. No. We're going to set our on click listener. We'll implement our method. And now we're in our on click. So whenever the button's clicked, it's going to go in here. 
So next off, we're going to have to find the display size of the screen. And basically, this is just going to help find the X and Y coordinates of the screen. And this will help uh, build the picture-in-picture -picture mode so it knows how big it has to be. So we'll enter in some of uh, this code. And you're probably going to have to import these classes here. Okay, so basically what this code is doing is right here we're getting the display size and then right here this is going to get the X and Y coordinates this is what it's going to be used and then it's going to put the X and Y coordinates into two separate variables so we know the size so once we do all that we're going to finish off the rest of the picture-in-picture -picture mode and this will rationalize the basically we're gonna have to try and make the application smaller because it shrinks it down so we're gonna rationalize the width and the height of the application so it knows how small it needs to be and then we're gonna put the aspect ratio into the builder and then we're going to enter into picture-in-picture -picture mode. So we'll get to that. So we're getting the ra the rational, and we're putting the width and the height in there. So it's just going to—it's basically making a fraction of how big it has to be. So right here, uh, it's just building the picture-in-picture -picture mode for us, but it's not actually being used yet. We're just building it. So right here, we're putting the aspect into the builder so it knows how big it has to be and now we're going to be entering into picture-in-picture -picture mode so now we're going to be entering into picture-in-picture -picture mode so basically the next step that we could do is remove the action bar whenever it goes into picture in picture mode although this isn't really necessary i just chose to do it because it makes it look a little bit uh nicer but we'll just i'll show you what it looks like without doing that and as well uh the device that you're using it has to be api 26 this is just the minimum requirement for it to build this. So we'll click OK. Let's see what it looks like. So here it is. Um, nothing fancy, but 
but whenever we click on this button here, it's going to enter into picture in picture mode. So let's click it, and there we go. That's what it looks like. like I said nothing fancy, but it does the job. So uh, right here, you can see the action bar here. It kind of covers a good quarter of the screen, but we can get rid of it. So outside of our on create, we're going to put in a new method on basically if the picture in picture mode changes, it's going to do this if statement, which will tell whether to hide or show the action bar. So just like that, we're going to put in our if statement. If it's in picture in picture mode, we're going to do the action bar and we're going to hide it. But if it's not, then we're going to show it. Okay, and since obviously that's not liking that right now because we didn't put in our action bar at the start, anyways. Okay, and we're going to have to import import it, just like that. As so well, we got to put th this in here. So there we go. That basically, it's going to tell to either hide or show the action bar depending if it's in picture in picture mode. So we'll rerun the program and we'll see how it looks now. Okay, so now we see that it's in picture, it's not in picture in picture mode right now. And we can see the action bar, but whenever we enter picture in picture mode, it gets rid of that action bar and it makes the screen a little bit nicer to look at. It's a bigger image and we can click on it again and then it goes back with the action bar to full screen. So there we go, that's how you build and implement a picture-in-picture -picture mode on an Android device. And thanks!